Good day, everyone. Today we are going to present our chosen company, Skechers. The overview entails first the firm profile, environmental survey, and analysis. Skechers USA Incorporated is a worldwide footwear developer and distributor of active and dress style company. They this design history dates back to 1992 when Robert Greenberg founded Skechers USA after his forced departure from LA Gear. A breakthrough came in 1993 with the chrome dome boot which propelled Skechers into the fashion spotlight and expanded its retail presence. By 1997, Skechers had expanded internationally. Today, it is the largest footwear brand in the U.S. by revenue with plans for further expansion including doubling its headquarters capacity. Now, let's look at Skechers' mission and vision statement together with its top competitors, Nike and Adidas. Skechers' mission statement is to become the first choice of casual and active footwear by providing an exceptional and exciting customer experience for the entire family while ensuring the longevity of both the company and the Skechers brand name through control, well-managed growth. Along with Skechers' mission statement, their strategic intent is to become the most successful footwear company worldwide by operating a high-performing, customer-driven business that sets the standard in every market we serve. Nike, on the other hand, their mission statement is to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Their vision statement is to do everything possible to expand human potential. The Adidas mission statement is to be the global leader in the sporting goods industry with brands built on the passion for sports and sporting lifestyle. We are committed to continuously strengthening our brands and products to improve our competitive position. Adidas vision statement is to be the leading sports brand globally by continuously bringing innovation and performance to every athlete. To critic each of the companies enumerated, we will be using a set of criteria in evaluating companies' vision and mission statements. First, we will evaluate mission statements using the set of criteria displayed under the first column. We can observe that most of these criteria Skechers possesses. Out of the eight criteria identified, Skechers has ticked off six of it, followed by Adidas which has five, and lastly, Nike with two. On the other hand, for evaluating the vision statement, we only have Nike and Adidas as Skechers vision statement cannot be found on the internet. With this, Adidas vision statement ticks off most of the criteria for creating a good vision statement. For this part, let's delve into the key personnel that is behind the operations of Skechers. First, let's have Robert Greenberg, CEO and founder of Skechers. Additionally, we also have the board of directors from Skechers. For the next part, we will be discussing Skechers business model canvas. For key partnerships, we have supplier relationships, retailer partnerships, and endorsement collaborations. Under key activities, we have product design and development, manufacturing and production, and retail operations. For the key resources, we have brand recognition, design and research expertise, and retail presence. Under value propositions, we have comfortable shoes, fashion and style, and innovation. Additionally, we also have affordable options, diverse selection, and trusted quality. For customer relationships, we have customer service support and feedback mechanisms. Under distribution channels, we have retail stores, third-party retailers, and e-commerce. Customer segments include athletes, fashion enthusiasts, casual shoppers, children and parents, seniors, and sporting communities. For cost structure, we have cost of goods sold, marketing and advertising, and operational expenditures. For, cost for revenue streams, we have retail revenue, wholesale revenue, and e-commerce revenue. 
Additionally, we also have licensing royalties, apparel and accessories income, and marketing partnership revenue. In this part of the report, we will delve into the political, economic, social, cultural, technological, legal, and environmental factors influencing Skechers' business operations. Starting with the political factors, Skechers, available in over 170 countries, is subject to the political regulations of each country, including the U.S., China, Romania, Brazil, and Mexico. While designing footwear in-house, the company outsources manufacturing globally, leaving it susceptible to changes in trade agreements affecting material import and or export costs. Lastly, some Skechers employees and owners provide personal financial support to political candidates, albeit independent of the company. In terms of economic factors, global inflation hit 6.9% in 2023, the highest since 1996. Analysts also predict a 2024 U.S. recession, likely tightening consumer spending, especially in non-essentials like footwear. Currency fluctuations may also affect Skechers international operations, affecting material costs and sales profitability. For the social-cultural factors, the pandemic has heightened the relevance of wellness, with consumers prioritizing health more. This shift has led to a surge in weekly exercise participation in 9 out of the top 10 sportswear countries since 2019. Additionally, consumer buying decisions are also increasingly influenced by social factors. For instance, 36% of consumers consider brands and companies' social and political beliefs when making purchases. For the technological factors, Skechers pioneered the virtual realm in 2022 by signing a lease in the fashion district of the Centraland and filing trademark applications for virtual goods globally. This move lays the groundwork for new growth opportunities in the metaverse. Concurrently, Skechers integrates cutting-edge technologies into its footwear, such as Goga Max cushioning and Skechers Go Run Light materials. Moreover, embracing AI, Skechers collaborates with online solutions to enhance operational efficiency and inventory management, ensuring responsiveness to consumer demand. In terms of the legal factors, French prosecutors launched an investigation into allegations of forced Uyghur labor involving Skechers and other brands in 2021. However, no evidence of such practices were found within its operations. Meanwhile, Skechers prioritizes intellectual property protection with over 517 trademarks. However, legal challenges persist with Nike filing a lawsuit against Skechers and New Balance in November 2023 over alleged patent infringement. Skechers refused these claims, labeling the lawsuit as baseless. Lastly, for the environmental factors, Skechers launched its Our Planet Matters Recycled Collection and pledged a minimum of $800,000 to support the Nature Conservancy's conservation efforts. Despite this, Skechers has high carbon intensity, performing 17.24% worse in emissions than the industry average. Moreover, it has yet to establish specific commitments to the science-based targets initiative for reducing greenhouse gas emissions in line with climate science. At this juncture, we will be identifying Skechers' top two major rivals. Nike Incorporated, an American corporation headquartered near Oregon, is a leading provider of athletic footwear, apparel, and sports equipment globally. It boasts the world's largest market share in athletic shoes and apparel, generating over $4 to $6 billion in revenue during its fiscal year 2022. Secondly, we have Adidas, a German company specializing in athletic apparel and footwear, which has its headquarters in Bavaria, Germany. It holds the title of the largest sportswear manufacturer in Europe and ranks as the second largest globally following Nike. Adidas designs, produces, and markets a wide range of athletic and sports lifestyle products, including footwear, apparel, and accessories such as bags, sunglasses, fitness equipment, and balls. Skechers' latest financial year of 2023 can be described as a period of growth and development. Skechers drive awareness and demand through comprehensive marketing campaigns, which resulted in a 7.5% sales increase amounting to $8 billion sales, a new annual record. To further narrate and expound the financial performance of Skechers, a six-year financial analysis is formulated highlighting Skechers' liquidity, solvency, profitability, and operating performance ratios. Highlighting the sales performance of Skechers from the years 2018 to 2023, Skechers is driving up their sales performance year after year. Only during the year 2019 to 2020 did Skechers experience a significant drop in sales, mainly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Skechers successfully reverted the adverse impacts of the COVID-19 on their sales. In 2021, sales are estimated to amount at $6.3 billion as compared to $4.6 billion in the previous year. The company continually experiences sales growth reaching to $8 billion sales as a result to a 13.3% increase in international sales amidst a minute 0.8% drop in domestic sales. Sales increase overall due to higher sales volume in direct consumer sales and higher average selling prices. In comparison to its two biggest competitors, Skechers relatively performs similarly with its top competitor Nike. 
For the financial year 2023, Skechers relatively performed better in terms of sales movement and trend compared to Adidas. Adidas had experienced a decline in sales due to challenging macroeconomic and geopolitical conditions in 2023 in its market. Meanwhile, Skechers sales increased by 0.6 billion or 7.5% due to a 13.3% increase in international sales. Relative to size, Skechers performs exceptionally well against its top competitors. Proceeding to the liquidity of Skechers, the current ratio and quick ratio of the company depicts a fluctuating trend. Amidst this, it can be said that Skechers' liquidity is stable and safe, with its current ratio consistently ranging from 2 to 3 and a quick ratio averaging at 0. 0.6. Skechers' current assets can successfully satisfy its current liabilities. As of December 31, 2023, Skechers' cash and cash equivalents amounted to $1.1 billion, which may not provide them a safety net against current liabilities, which amounts to $1.6 billion. The cash ratio evidently depicts a decreasing trend with the biggest drop in the year 2022. Skechers' cash ratio averaged at 0.75, which is below 1, and may be frowned upon by most analysts in the industry. However, Skechers financed their production activities in part through the use of interest-bearing open purchase arrangements with certain of their contract manufacturers with an interest rate between 0% and 0.4% for 30 to 60 day financing. Skechers is confident that these arrangements affords them additional liquidity and flexibility. The graph presents an initial increase of liabilities ratio peaking at 2020, which can be attributed to liabilities incurred to sustain the firm's operations during the pandemic. The range of Skechers liabilities to assets ratio falls from 0.3 to 0.6, with an average of 0.44, which can be considered as a comfortable and secure range. The outstanding borrowings were $301.4 million, which can be reconciled or absolved by the Skechers cash and cash equivalents amounting to $1.1 billion. Skechers' gross margin is relatively high. This suggests that the company effectively preserves a significant portion of its capital. From 2018 to 2023, the company has also managed to increase their gross margin by 2.71%. The return on sales for Skechers was lowest at the year 2020 with 3.18% and the highest at 2021 at 12.98%. This is mostly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and in 2021, they were able to upgrade their point-of-sale systems and digital commerce sites in different countries, and even launch new sites in Ireland and Austria. In the years 2018 to 2023, the average ROA of the company Skechers is 8.37%. While it is relatively high, the company should still improve its efficiency in generating profit from their total assets, as Nike is at 14.3% in the years 2019 to 2023 in terms of their return on assets. Skechers' inventory turnover shows a gradual yet minute decline with its peak at the year 2019, then followed by lower inventory ratios over the next few years. However, it can be said that the inventory turnover of Skechers is deemed satisfactory, but potentially can be improved. In comparison to its competitors, it can be inferred that Skechers is relatively at par with the performance of Adidas. However, Skechers still needs to improve its inventory management to become more efficient and be able to compete with its top competitor, Nike. In terms of asset turnover, Skechers' performance is also satisfactory but not impressive or excellent. With an asset turnover averaging to 1, it can be inferred that Skechers can still improve the efficiency of its operations and, keep it, and can be more effective in utilizing its assets to generate sales. In comparison to its top competitors, Skechers is gravely falling behind Nike and Adidas by at least 10 times, with Adidas' asset turnover averaging at 11, while Nike at 14. Skechers needs to improve how efficiently and effectively it utilizes its assets to compete against its top rivals. The return on equity of Skechers ranged from 0.05 to 0.25. Having an ROE of higher than 0.15 would indicate that the company is performing well as it reveals how much profit they generated with the money shareholders have invested. However, the company has shown a decrease in ROE from the years 2018 to 2023 and even lower from 2021 to 2023, which is at 3.08% and 20.29% decrease, respectively. 
At this juncture, we will delve into the value chain analysis of Skechers, starting with the company's primary activities. For inbound logistics, Skechers place a strong emphasis on fostering relationships with diverse suppliers, securing materials at competitive prices. Their lean inventory model minimizes storage costs, while their high-tech warehouse in Japan powered by high robotics enhances operational efficiency. For their operations to ensure product quality, Skechers oversees productions from prototype to final manufacturing, and maintain an in-house production department in the U.S. and staff in Asia. Their outbound logistics involves Skechers operating LEET Gold Certified Distribution Centers in the Americas, and Europe enabling efficient omnichannel distribution. Now let's delve into their marketing and sales strategies. Skechers leverages celebrity endorsements and social media marketing to reach a broad audience. They collaborate with influencers and emphasize comfort and innovation in their campaigns. The company's after-sales service is delivered through their flexible return policies and various contact options for support, ensuring customer satisfaction. Moving on to Skechers support activities, in terms of infrastructure, Skechers maintains a global network of offices and distribution centers supporting their international operations. Rigorous quality management practices along with regulatory compliance and government relations, intellectual property management. With over 15,000 employees worldwide, Skechers invests in employee tr benefits, training, and development programs, fostering a supportive work environment. Investing in technology like warehouse management systems and robotics enhances distribution operations efficiency. Skechers is also exploring AI utilization and entry into the metaverse. Lastly, Skechers primarily relies on outsourced manufacturing, particularly in Asia, to produce their footwear, ensuring global supply chain efficiency. One of the strategies employed by the company is its acquisition of its Scandinavian distributor, which aims to accelerate Skechers' growth in Europe. In relation to this, the company continues to direct its capital investment towards advancing their strategic growth objectives by direct customer growth and global expansion. The company invests in product innovation, design, and development, offering a diverse range of products. Skechers also collaborates with a varied group of celebrities who are all coming from different backgrounds in the celebrity industry. Last, Skechers has valuable resources such as strong brand reputation, sustainable packaging, and a diversified product portfolio. However, these resources are common in the industry or can be imitated by competitors regardless if they are costly to imitate. It also has an extensive intellectual property portfolio, including trademarks and patents. But while they protect its product innovation, some features can still be imitated or similar designs can be found in other brands. While Skechers leverages these resources well through marketing and organization, most fall under competitive parity in the VRIO framework, which indicates that they are valuable but widely used in the industry. Skechers offers a combination of style, quality, comfort, innovation, and value that appeals to a broad range of consumers. This focus on comfort technology and design is valuable for differentiation, but other companies offer similar features. While not necessarily rare, some of Skechers' comfort technology is protected by patents, making them costly to imitate. Skechers also utilizes comprehensive marketing campaigns across various channels, including celebrity endorsements, enhancing brand recognition, and driving sales, but they are common and easily replicated by large competitors. Nonetheless, Skechers continues to invest and adopt e effective marketing strategies to drive traffic, build brand recognition, and properly position its diverse lines within the marketplace. Skechers' omnichannel distribution capabilities, on the other hand, provide value by enhancing convenience and accessibility, but these approaches are also widely adopted by similar businesses. Lastly, Skechers' workforce contributes to a positive work environment and aligns with the brand's customer focus. This human resource capability, while valuable, isn't necessarily rare or inimitable. Competitors likely have similar talent, although potentially at a higher cost. Likewise, most of these fall under competitive parity in the framework. The VRIO framework analysis of Skechers' resources and capabilities reveals that Skechers possesses several competitively valuable resources, providing Skechers with mostly a competitive parity, despite Skechers' efforts to maximize these resources. Hence, based on the analysis, most of these resources failed to meet the other factors that make it a source of sustained competitive advantage. Thus, while these resources keep Skechers in the competitive footwear market, they don't provide a sustainable competitive edge that leads the company ahead of the competition. Throughout this internal analysis on Skechers, the following are the strengths and weaknesses of the company that were recognized. Skechers has a strong brand image, a wide variety of products, effective collaborations and partnerships, global presence, and is considered an innovative company. However, it lacks sustained competitive advantage and is vulnerable to economic uncertainties and supply chain risks. For our overall critique of the company, 
Skechers current strategies allow it to streamline its operations and broaden its reach to cater to a wide audience. However, these strategies are also common among its existing competitors. Moreover, its well-managed and valuable resources are mostly replicable, providing only a source of competitive parity which indicates failure to differentiate itself and outperform its competitors effectively. The lack of sustained competitive advantage poses several challenges to Skechers, especially as it faces well-established competitors in the industry. Therefore, Skechers' current situation highlights the need to explore more opportunities to stimulate innovation, improve the efficiency of its primary and support activities, and implement effective strategies that reflect in its financial performance. In turn, Skechers can maximize its valuable resources translate them into a sustainable competitive advantage and deliver remarkable returns.